do, nerds? It's your boy, the Nintendo Drone. We at it again, boy, with another Indiana Jones adventure series. Uh, we're doing Salah today, the right-hand man in the Raiders of the Lost Ark. He's the one who hooks them up with the house in the beginning. He hooks them up with the job, low-key. They get to the, the, the dig site. I wish one of them came with the staff of Raw. That would have been so sweet. We might get an Indiana Jones in his, um, in his, uh, what would you even call this? I don't even know, in his disguise when they're digging. Uh, we have all of them. We just need to review these two next, and then we're done with the whole set. All right, let's not waste any time. Uh, let's look at the box. Indiana Jones, the Adventure Series, Salah. Look at the whole figure, damn near right there. Four plus, thank goodness, we're all adults here, right? Right? If you're not an adult, I'm gonna need you to leave. This is big boy time. These are big boy toys. Four and up. I'm a big boy. All right, so accessories first. So we're gonna just look at the build a figure, build the artifact part. A lot of detail on this thing. Nice and solid gold. I think this is where the other parts go, obviously. And the other walls go into here. I believe this is the top of it. I'm hoping it is, because it looks interesting. So, yeah, pretty nice. Solid gold, oh, solid gold little piece. Nothing on the inside, of course. The outsides are all the detail, the wings everywhere. Can't wait to get that built. And then my man comes with a shovel. Nice little shovel, same kind of plastic they used on the frying pan for uh, Mirian. Little bit of a paint defect right there, but it's okay. Just a tan, I'd say tan, yeah. Bit of a brownish tan uh, handle, nothing too fancy. <clears throat> then he comes with this huge rope which is a rope that they use to lower in Indy when they find the the main room. I forgot what the room is called. I know it has like a room, but where they use the staff of raw and whatever. Pretty cool, it's got like the little rope detail. I kind of wish that you could uh, just have that string a little bit out so you could like grab it. Maybe if this top string, like the main one, you could like hold it or something. But other than that, it's, it's a cool little accessory. All right, let's get on with the figure now. All right, and here is Salah out of the packaging with all his goodies. I'm gonna go ahead and just take him away from him. I don't know why I always put him up with his accessories, but it just makes it fun for me. The head looks pretty good. Kind of that glossy face. Same thing we saw with the other two figures. Um, one of the guys in the comments, I forgot his name. I, if I remember his name, I'll put it in right here. But he told me that he put like a little, little clear coat, something like a matte spray over it to make it look less shiny. I think I might have to go and do the exact same thing because that beard is looking real shiny compared to the rest of him. I do like the detail, like the dirt on the little head wrap, whatever you want to call it. It's not really a turban because it's, it's not. Um, comes down here. You can see a little detail on it. Like, it kind of like flares out. You can see the layers kind of through there. Pretty cool little detail. The vest is like an off-white as well. Very nice vest. Cool for kind of like kick bashing if maybe you want to take this off put on someone else it's a very nice vest some like um star wars looking ass vest his robes are looking real nice you can see the dirt all over his shoulder kind of cool his arm right there we like a dirty a hard working man you know that's how i feel i'm a i'm a dirty hard working man too a little dirt right there the skirt he's got a little belt i think and it just kind of wraps around. There's no actual little thing. He's got some little boots. His pants are like in the Indiana Jones legs, basically. He's got different boots, though. So that's pretty neat. Man's got the work boots on, man. Boy, came to dig some hole, boy. Looking for the Ark of the Covenant, dog. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole figure. Yeah, Alright, so my boy looks up about that much, which is actually pretty decent. Um, He's got that... It looks like his neck would move, but for some reason mine isn't. So I'm not going to try, but it can go like this. Swerve around and around, of course. Up and down, da 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 No butterfly butterfly joint? He does have a butterfly joint. There you go. So it, it, there is a butterfly joint, but it gets a little hindered. So it goes back about that much with the vest on. It goes that forward with the vest on. So not the greatest, but it's there. That's something, right? They're, they're trying something. Arms go up about that much, rotate all the way around, of course. Single jointed elbows, they do rotate at the elbow, of course. Rotation at the wrist, and I believe they have the same effect. Yeah, they're on the peg, so 
they only they only wiggle around so much they don't actually have a hinge again um waist joint he goes back actually pretty decent for him being in a thing him being in a skirt he can go back that far he's like yeah he goes forward about uh, not too much it's kind of the issue with these guys that they don't go forward too much it's a little annoying but you know whatever rotates all the way around of course you can also go side to side the legs obviously they're gonna get hindered by this skirt but you can get him to kick fully forward with both of them it, it can happen it, this is not gonna it i mean that looks awful right but it could still happen you know legs go out about that much we got the thigh cut in there single jointed knee of course uh, rotation at the knee, the mother he he chamong the knee. And he got the I believe he's got uh it looks like you could but you can't. It's, it looks like you should be able to get boot rotation but you don't. But um it goes up, it goes down, and of course it goes side to side. It's a little tough on this one. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, I need not really a lot of things I can compare him to because I only have two other figures so we're just going to check them out with some mcu figures uh here we got him with the daredevil and sharon carter you know just to see how he stacks up and then for no real reason we got moon knight and then miss marvel you know egypt india kind of deal you know kind of same part of the world low-key looking real nice though damn I, I like this moon knight no one ever talks about it all right and then here we got it next to some of the lightning collection power rangers the ninja ones of course because you know they're fire so are you guys gonna be picking up the new uh 30 year anniversary wave i think i am mighty morphin baby but all the way and then here he is with a couple of star wars figures just to see how we you know we're just throwing them all together we like to create worlds ourselves here got the jedi we got uh qui-gon jinn and ray skywalker Oh, pretty cool. I don't know. You could, throw, you could throw him in the back of like a Tatooine world, maybe. You know? And then here he is with the stars of the show. Indiana Jones and Miriam Ravenwood. Same line, same wave. I like it. They're looking real spiffy. Real, real top notch. She looking crazy right now. I don't know what the hell her problem is. But jeez. But jeez. Okay, final thoughts on this guy. He's alright. You know what I mean? Probably like my least favorite out of the three that i've opened so far i mean it's mainly because of the skirt that gets in the way but i think other than that he's a cool character he's like in the movie like he's like one of the main side characters of the whole movie the, in the, at least in the first one um and yeah so I'm, I'm happy to have him can't wait to get to indiana jones and his um like worker outfit too because he's fitted up just like this That'd be cool to have them both together. And I hope the Indy comes with a staff of Raw. Because if not, that'd be so ridiculous. But um, yeah. Like I said before, I'm, I'm in all the way on these Indiana Jones figures. They just announced the pre-orders for the next wave. Probably not going to pre-order them. Because I'm not into the pre-order. I'd rather see them in store. Because you might find them in a the store before they actually hit the... Before they actually come in the mail. That, that's been happening lately. Because re, um, distribution is all over the place with Hasbro. So yeah. I'm waiting for those. We got two more to get to, and then we'll check out the whole Ark of the Covenant. And then, yeah, that's really all I got to say right now about this figure. I like it. If you are in the market for the Indiana Jones figures, I say go get them now. You don't want to sleep on these. You want to be in on them now before they're way expensive later. But um, other than that, I ain't got nothing else to say. So um, I will see y'all in the very next one. And the very next one, which will probably be a Guardians of the Galaxy video. But, uh, good night, everyone. I love you. Oh, shit.